What's up, everybody? It's Rashad Jones from Big Lee, Serious About Barbecue. Welcome to another, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, School of Barbecue video. Let's look what we got here. Two smokers that we just started. You got six logs in there, six logs in there, a pile of hot coals underneath them, but no fire, no fire at all, no fire whatsoever. So pretty easy fix, pretty simple fix. Whenever you've got smoke, but no fire, and really thick smoke like this, really uh, cloudy, whitish, grayish uh, smoke. It simply means that there's uh, not enough of an oxygen supply. And there's uh, also, there's, there's a restricted oxygen supply. When all that smoke is just filling up the space in that firebox and it's not drawing out of the tops of those smoke, smoke stacks fast enough, simply means that we need to get more oxygen in here. But the way we do that is by letting some of that smoke out. So if you're ever having this issue, just gonna come over to your smoker, open up one of the doors and watch what magically happens. So that door is open now on Delta. This is Delta and this is LaFleur. So we got a lot of smoke, but watch, watch what will happen here shortly. That smoke will start to clear up. We're gonna have a lot of that smoke start to exit out of the cook chamber door, and once that happens, it's gonna create draw. It'll take a little while for that smoke to exit out. I already see some of it starting to pull through the smokestack. Look at that, I already see fire back in there. And it'll clear out in a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's all it takes. You probably can see those flames flickering around in there already. There's nothing wrong with our wood, nothing wrong with our smoker. I intentionally built these types of fires to show you what happens if you don't have enough of an oxygen supply. You're gonna get a whole lot of smoke and not a really good quality fire. So you can see that's already starting to burn in there. And Delta is, will be rolling in just a few minutes. I'd be able to close these doors off and we'll be having a good old time cooking. So that was probably less than a minute and a half or so, maybe even less than a minute that it took for that uh, oxygen supply to reach the levels that it needed for this fire to be able to live and for this fire to be able to breathe. A fire has to breathe. If you suffocate a fire, it's just gonna produce smoke. Smoke is a fire's way of screaming, saying, help, help, I need help. So that's what we got over here. And look what we still have over here, nothing, nothing. So guess what we're gonna do? Y'all tell me. We're gonna open cook chamber door, let some of that smoke out. All that smoke that's packed in there, it creates a little bit of back pressure and it starts pushing that smoke back into the cook chamber. And you don't ever really get a good chance to let your fire uh, breathe and live. Look at that, it's cleared up significantly. And we're gonna close that cook chamber door here in a little while. And it's really gonna start drawing really, really well. well let's watch this one. This one should be able to do it here pretty quickly as well. And you can see there's just a little pile of coal of coals down there. That's it. And there's a ton of heat coming out of those hot coals. And once that smoke clears up, it'll pull enough oxygen through and that fire will be rolling. So this is a real simple lesson that you need to know how to, uh, how to control for. You need to know how to manage this. If you plan on cooking on any sort of offset stick burners, using real logs, using real wood, uh, you're, you're gonna need to know how to do this or you're gonna frustrate yourself. I see some people, They'll, uh, they'll stick more wood in the firebox if their fire's not rolling, if their fire's choking and, and it's suffocating, there's incomplete combustion. They don't know those things and they just add more wood thinking that maybe the fire's not taking off because there's not enough wood and that won't solve the problem. Remember, your fire needs air to breathe. Your fire needs some air and some oxygen to, to consume in order for it to live and in, in, in order for it to thrive. So we've got this fire rolling like crazy now. That looks really good. I can go ahead and close that firebox door and we'll be set on that side. So we're gonna close the door on Delta and then we'll head back over to the floor. And you can see it's just nice, clean smoke rolling through there. All right, I'm gonna close that off. And that is rolling. Delta is doing her thing. So we'll come over here to the floor and sometimes you'll need a little assistance. So if I just get in here and blow a little bit. And 
That's it. That's all we needed. A little bit of assistance in there. And now that this fire is rolling, it's really gonna it's gonna start pulling oxygen in through this this door opening. And once it pulls strong enough and well enough and long enough, I'll be able to close this door off and we'll be able to rely on these holes that we call dampers. I don't call it a vent, I don't call it a port, I call it a damper. But you can call it whatever you want to call it. Look at that, we got a fire and it's rolling. And it'll just take a few minutes for this fire to get settled and to kind of find its balance and find, you know, all its right grooves of where it's going to pull and suck and draw it. oxygen and air in and we'll be good. And those briskets are going to taste mighty yummy. So that's pretty basic. But if you don't know it, you're going to have some problems. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking out this video. I love you guys. Peace.